Hey everyone, in this video we look at how to create interesting cutscenes like this in Unity using the nonlinear dialog and cutscene system asset. So let's get started. So here I have an empty scene and I have installed the cutscene system asset. So once you install it, you'll get a folder like this called nonlinear dialog and cutscene system. So to start creating cutscenes, you have to add two prefabs to your scene. So from the assets folder, I'll go inside prefabs and under the manager, we have two prefabs here, cutscene graph editor and cutscene manager. We have to drag both of these into our scene. Okay. So cutscene manager is a prefab that plays dialogues and cutscenes and it contains things like the UI of the dialogue system. Okay. So this will be disabled by default. Let me just enable it and let me change this to 2D. So yeah, this is the default UI of the dialogue. And if you want to customize the UI, then you can just change it from here. All right. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to use the default UI. And let me just undo all the changes that I made. And let's actually start creating a cutscene. So to create a cutscene, we have to open the cutscene editor window. All right. Let me just dock it over here. And from here, we have to create a cutscene graph. So I'll just right click and select create cutscene graph. And here I'll just name my cutscene as sample cutscene. Okay. So this created a cutscene graph for us with just a single start node. So this editor is really similar to your animator editor in Unity. Right, so here you can do things like zoom in and zoom out using the scroll wheel, and you can pan it by either holding the scroll wheel or by holding the Alt button. Okay, so here let's create a simple cutscene with few dialogues. So to add a dialog, we have to right click and go to create new node and select a dialog node. All right. And then we have to make a connection from the start to the dialog node. So here I'll just write a sample dialog like, how are you doing? And by the way, you can edit the dialog either from here or from the inspector. Okay. So you can do things like give an audio to the dialog, add dialogues for different languages, add a speaker for the dialog, play animations while showing the dialog. So yeah, there are lots of things that we can do, but for now, I'm just going to create a very simple dialogue with just text. So next, I want to add some choices for this dialogue. So to add choices to a dialogue, we can right click on the dialogue node and select add choice. So let's say we want to add three choices. All right. And I'll just write the text for three choices. Okay. And then we can play different dialogues based on the choice of the user. So here I'll create a new dialogue. And if the player replies with, I'm good, then we can show dialogue like, that's great. Okay. And let me connect these two nodes. And next I'll duplicate this dialogue node. And by the way, we can duplicate a node by using control D. Okay. And I'll create the dialog for the second choice. All right, then I'll connect these two. And finally, I'll create the dialog for the third one. Okay. Uh, by the way, we can also make this window full screen if you want to see everything together. So we can either use the shift space shortcut or we can double click on the header of this window just like any other windows in unity so we have three dialogues based on three choices all right so next we can bring all these dialogue branches into a single dialogue so here i'll create a new dialogue like anyway let's get going and i'll connect all the three dialogue branches into this 
okay so we have created our cutscene graph so next we need to tell unity to play this cutscene so for that we have to add a trigger so here i'll create an empty game object called trigger and to this i'll add the cutscene trigger script okay and from here we have to choose when the cutscene will be triggered so for this tutorial let's keep it simple and trigger the cutscene when the scene starts so i'll use on start and then we have to drag and drop our sample cutscene here okay so now if we play the scene we should start the cutscene immediately when the scene starts and we'll get the dialogue for the note that we created over here okay so let me just select a choice and we should go to the next dialog all right so this is how you set up a simple dialog using the cutscene system so next let's look at something more advanced so now to make our dialog interesting i've added two characters to the scene so now if you play the game our dialog looks more like a conversation between two characters but right now the characters are just simply standing there so we want to make this dialog look interesting by playing animations and changing camera angles during the conversation so first let's look at how to play animations while showing a dialog so both these characters has a animator with few animations like idle waving talking walk etc so we look at how to play these animations from our cutscene graph so let's say we want to add the waving animation for the first dialogue so what we can do is we can select the dialogue and under additional we can turn on play animation all right so this will ask us to assign a game object with an animator component so let's say we want to play the waving animation on the female character donna so i'll just drag and drop donna to this field okay so if you click donna you can see that she has an animator component and that is the reason why we are able to drag her to this field okay so next we can specify the name of the animation we want to play so i want to play the waving animation so here i'll just type waving okay so next let me also add an animation to this dialog all right so again i'll drag and drop donna in here and this time i want to play the talking animation so i'll just type talking over here and now let's test the game and see how it looks like okay so our dialogue is starting to look much more interesting when we add the animations all right so next let's look at how to make our dialogue more interesting by changing camera angles during the conversation so let me just make this big and to change the camera angle we can create a cutscene node so using this node we can do lots of different cutscene actions like play animation move characters change camera angle and all that so in this case i want to change the camera angle during the dialogue so let's say we want to change the camera angle during this dialogue then what we can do is we can run these two nodes parallelly okay so after this dialog i'll also make a connection to this cutscene node so now these two nodes will run parallelly all right so next we have to specify the angle to change in the inspector so here I'll assign the object to focus as Donna and then I can choose one of these camera angles so I'll just select back right for now so this will place the camera in the back right position of the Donna character okay so let's test the game and see how that looks 
All right. So you can see that during the last dialogue, the camera angle changed. Right. So next, let's also try changing the camera angle after the player selects a choice. So in this case, if we want, we can switch to different camera angles based on the choice of the player. But to keep things simple, I'll just switch to a simple camera angle for all three choices. So here I can create a new cutscene node or I can simply just duplicate this cutscene node. All right. And this time, let's say we want to switch to the left camera angle. All right. And by the way, we also have options to slowly transition to a camera angle instead of switching to it immediately. You can go ahead and explore these things on your own. For this tutorial, I'm just going to keep things simple and switch to the left camera angle. So we want to switch to the left camera angle after these three choices, right? So regardless of the choice, we have to execute this node. So what we can do is we can make a connection from all the three choices to this node. Okay, so now let's see how it looks. All right, so now we can see that we switched the camera angle to the left after the player's choice. So this is how easy it is to create interesting cutscenes in your game by playing animations and switching camera angles and all that. There are a lot more features in the cutscene system that I haven't covered in this quick start tutorial. So take some time to explore this system on your own and be sure to read the documentation if something is not clear for you. And also the best way to learn more about the functionalities of this cutscene system is by looking at the sample scenes that comes with this asset. So you can find those under the sample cutscenes folder. Okay. So just try playing with these scenes and see how they are implemented. And this will help you understand how to create more advanced cutscenes using a cutscene system. So that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found it helpful.